Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, written by Douglas Adams. <clears throat> the babel fish is small, yellow, leech-like, and probably the oddest thing in the universe. It feeds on brainwave energy received not from its own carrier, but from those around it. It absorbs all unconscious mental frequencies from this brainwave energy to nourish itself with. It then excretes into the minds of its carrier a telepathic matrix formed by combining the conscious thought frequencies with nerve signals picked up from the speech centers of the brain which has supplied them. The practical upshot of all this is that if you stick a babel fish in your ear, you can instantly understand anything said to you in any form of language. The speech patterns you actually hear decode the brainwave matrix which has been fed into your mind by your babel fish. Now, it is such a bizarrely improbable coincidence that anything so mind-bogglingly useful could have evolved purely by chance that some thinkers have chosen to see it as a final and clinching proof of the non-existence of God. The argument goes like this. I refuse to prove that I exist, says God, for proof denies faith, and without faith, I am nothing. Oh, but, says man, the Babel fish is a dead giveaway, isn't it? I mean... It could not have evolved by chance. It, it proves you exist. And so therefore, by your own arguments, you don't. QED. Oh, dear, says God. I hadn't thought of that. And promptly disappears in a puff of logic. Oh, that was easy, says man. And for an encore, goes on to prove that black is white and gets himself killed on the next zebra crossing. Most leading theologians believe that this argument is a load of dingo's kidneys. But... That didn't stop Ulan Kolofyad from making a small fortune when he used it as the central theme of his best-selling book, well, that about wraps it up for God. Meanwhile, the poor Babel fish, by effectively removing all barriers to communication between different races and cultures, has caused more and bloodier wars than anything else in the history of creation.